This is the latest Bosch IXO 3.6 volt cordless screwdriver. It's the sixth generation model. Now I've had one of these screwdrivers, I don't know, third, fourth, I'm not quite sure which generation, for about five years now and I've used it over and over again. A very reliable piece of kit. This is my old one here and like I say this is a brilliant piece of kit but there are one or two problems and I think that Bosch have sorted those problems out in this latest version. Now for me the big advantage of this new one is the fact that it's got variable speed. The old one is just on and off. Now they both spin at 215 revolutions per minute. The other important improvement for me is the toggle switch at the back for direction of rotation because on this one pushing this lever across I'm always finding that I'm pushing it by accident when I'm using the screwdriver. So having the button on the back I think it's going to be a vast improvement as far as I'm concerned because my fingers won't be getting in the way and changing the direction of rotation. So as I said this is a 3.6 volt cordless screwdriver 0 to 215 revolutions per minute. It charges using a micro USB power adapter and a micro USB cable but you can also get a cradle for it but that's an optional extra. Now one thing that I found with these things is whenever I take it out I always need to take a drill out with me so I decided as well to buy this which is the optional drilling attachment. So in this review I will review the screwdriver as well as the optional drill attachment. This is the packaging. It also comes with a three year guarantee. Everything is packed inside a very neat storage box and then inside that storage box we've got the screwdriver, a USB charger with a UK 3 pin plug, USB to micro USB charging lead and 10 screwdriver bits. Underneath a black tray in the box there are a set of instructions for the screwdriver as well, I missed them. This is how the drilling adapter arrives and inside the box we've got the drilling adapter itself, three drill bits, two, three and four millimetres and a set of instructions. Right, so I'll put the screwdriver on charge. The micro USB just plugs into the bottom there and as you can see we've got a green flashing light. Three steady lights indicate that the screwdriver is fully charged. So I've had these for a couple of weeks now and already I've used them a couple of times and I am very impressed. I'm really impressed with this little drilling attachment. So I think what I'm going to do now is actually answer the question that most people will have and it's just how many screws will this thing deal with and how much capacity has it got. So I'm going to try and answer that to some extent. It's got a full battery. So I think what I'll do is I'll actually start using this, screwing some screws into some wood and we'll see roughly how many we're going to get on a full charge. Thinking about the best way to do this test and I think I'm going to use a 2 inch screw but the first thing I'm going to do is to actually just use a screwdriver on a 3 inch screw just to show you what sort of torque it's got. I'm just going to use scrap wood because I'm not going to waste good wood for the purposes of this test. This is where the variable speed comes in handy. So it's struggle doing that but I would expect any 3.6 volt screwdriver to struggle putting that screw in without a pre-drilled hole. So we'll take it out. So that sort of over torque protection is something new. The old screwdrivers don't do that. They'll stall and you can actually kind of use them with a lever action as you're taking the screws out. But anyway, we'll count that as one screw. Obviously it counts as more than one really, but we'll count it as one. And now I'm just going to screw a two inch screw in and out and we'll see how many times we do it. Right, so I think I'll call that done. So the total is 39 two inch screw in and out in pine just using the uh, three inch screw which actually if you look at the difference between that two inch screw and the three inch screw that is a very beefy screw in all fairness that will have taken enough power to drive another three two inch screws in at a guess so you know that takes it up past 40 and remember it's going in and out I don't think there are many jobs that you'll be taking a screwdriver out for that require you to drive in and out 40 screws so it's got a really large capacity for the vast majority of jobs that you're going to do you'll easily have enough charge with this screwdriver I'm really impressed with that this is a little job that this uh, screwdriver and hopefully uh, the drilling attachment is perfect for 
I made this spare table a while ago and it's got a little rubber insert there. My wife has managed to snap off this piece of wood trying to get the rubber insert out to clean it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill through there, put two screws in and then drill wider holes at the bottom so that this kind of slots in with the screws acting as pins. And in order to do this job, I've come out with everything in my pockets, which is absolutely brilliant. It really is. So that's the drill attachment. There's some drill bits and a couple of screws. To attach the drill attachment, you just pull off this rubber cap. It just pushes on like that. This drill runs at 440 RPM, so it's not a fast drill at all. The first thing I'm going to do is to put the drill bit in and you've got to push the collet forward on the attachment, drop in the drill bit and slide it back and then it's stuck there, which means that you can actually extract the drill while it's drilling. It won't get stuck because it's encapsulated in there now. The variable speed is going to come in useful, I think. Might help if I'm going the right way. That was easy. It's a really nice speed actually for drilling. Go again. So there are the two holes drilled for the screws and I'm going to put the wider 4mm drill bit in. This one is the 3mm and I'll widen those holes out underneath. And as you can see there's absolutely no issue with it drilling at all. It's straight through. So now I need to take this off. So the first thing I'll do is push that collet forward, remove the drill bit. A little like on there telling you that you've got to twist that collet round and off it pulls. I'll put the rubber cap back on. This is magnetic so it won't drop out of the screwdriver. I love the variable speed on it. It is a real improvement. That is great, it really is. It's nearly there. Right, I think that's it. Right, that's a job done. I really am impressed with that. I love the variable speed. And this drill attachment is a smashing piece of kit as well. So this tool is ideal for small jobs like assembling equipment and if you've got a set of bits like hex bits and that, it can make life a lot easier. I've had this set for years and it, every now and again it proves very, very handy. So I've just recharged this after that experiment. I've edited those two clips that you've just seen while I've been waiting for it to charge. It took exactly three hours from flat to fully charged using the supplied power adapter. The screwdriver is actually equipped with an LED light that lights up the work area. What I am going to do is I'm going to drill into a piece of wood and drive in the three inch screw so that we can see that if you've got the drill attachment that you can do that in order to use larger screws. And as you can see that 3 inch screw goes in easily like that. The new generation 6 Bosch IXO 3.6 cordless screwdriver. This is a smashing piece of kit. Add to it the drill attachment and you have got something that is extremely versatile. Fits in your pocket, you can put the drill and the screwdriver in your pocket. Go outside to the worksite with the screws and get the job done just with the one tool. It is very handy. The variable speed is just a pure joy so when i've actually been using this screwdriver no longer is a screw flying off as soon as i press the trigger like it does with the older versions of this particular screwdriver and if you're thinking about buying a cordless screwdriver then spending the extra money on the bosch i think is a real good investment my old screwdriver is still going strong but i am so glad that i bought this because it is so much easier to use than the old one Swapping from the drill to the screwdriver is a doddle. You do pay a little bit more money for this screwdriver, but I think it's well worth it. It's really well made, a pure joy to use, a great piece of kit. Anyway, I hope you found this review useful and thank you for watching.